So, we got this 2018 Chevy Malibu. We got a check engine code. We got a little reader. Let's see. Plug this thing up real quick. Where is it? Where is it? Don't give me no trip. Of course, it's not going to work without the... Tell us what's going on. There we go. What we got? Okay. Let's start, guys. There's only one code in there. And what's funny is it's saying air flow system. Okay, bet. We got a starting point. So. I have already, this car has already been here for this same as I called before. And the first thing that I ever did was I cleaned the throttle body. Took this off and I cleaned all up inside of there. But obviously that didn't work. So in this situation, right, we just, we were trying to do this as budget as possible. This is actually my car. So I already did the throttle body. So now, I'm gonna jump over to the mass airflow sensor. The mass airflow sensor sit right there on top, and it's fairly easy to take off. But before that, let me just check that this duct work, whatever you wanna call it, don't have no cracks or anything in it to allow any airflow. And just a quick look at it, I don't see no visible cracks. So what I'm gonna do this time, guys, I'm gonna remove this. Let's head over to our handy dandy toolbox. I'm gonna need a small flathead just to take that clip off. And I think this will work. This is a T, it don't say, guys, I'm sorry. Small T something. I don't know what it is. T something. So yeah. We're gonna take this off real quick. I tried to prop you all up real good, but that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna just show you like this the best way I can. You pop that red clip out. Wiggle that, tuck that off to the side. And there you got your mass airflow sensor. That T something I was telling you all about earlier oh i'm doing this with one hand i hope i don't drop this screw oh my god don't drop i'm trying to take it out as much oh it's wiggling there we go got him damn i didn't even bring my thing to put it in my mac so this slides should slide right out is it another screw oh it's another screw back there guys my bad it's another screw back there so it's two of them. One hidden back there. This one even harder. I'm gonna... Oh, 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 don't wiggle out. Got it. Place our screw. And this thing slides right out. As we can see, it does have some dirt and stuff like that around it. So what I'm gonna do is, instead of buying you one of these, I'm gonna attempt to clean it. Come over here to my cleaners. I got the, none of those won't work. Don't try those, where is that? Got some mass airflow sensor cleaner. You got to go get this some form of this anyway. You don't have to be this exact one, but you don't want to mess this thing up. So we're going to attempt to spray all up in there. We're going to spray this entire thing. We're going to spray everywhere, except of course the electrical connection part. So yeah, it's barely some in here, but Get all up in there. 
Solid from there. Oh, he's running out. There we go. We just need a little bit more. Come on. There we go. There we go. See if we can get some more out of it. Definitely. Clean down in there real good. And we're gonna have to let this air dry for about 10 minutes. But in the meantime, I'm gonna put some uh some electrical grease in there just to see if we can get a better connection. Just for the shits and giggles of it. Hey, I found my grease, and as you can see. I use this thing a lot of times and it's so janky because look, I'm squeezing it trying to get something out. It's coming out of like nine different places. Like there go the opening, but it's coming out of like all over. Maybe I should just buy some more. But for now it's good. We are gonna just squeeze what we can squeeze out of there. And take just a little bit. We don't want a lot. We don't want a lot. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so please be with me. No, don't fall. Don't fall. We got it in there. So now we just trying to uh, we trying to rub it all in. It's kind of hard doing it with one hand, but y'all get it, man. So we gave it some time to dry, man. So we're gonna attempt to put it back in. Uh, I think it was this way, right? Nope, it was this way. I try to put it back in with one hand. I'm gonna try to hard this bolt first. Oh, oh, come on, don't fall, please, don't fall. I just need to get it started. I just need to get it started back there. I got it started. I'm gonna let it tighten him up. Okay. Oh, got him. Got him. It's a done deal on him. Let's see if we can do this one on top. Get that boy started. Snug it down. It's not moving. It's on there tight. That's good enough for us, guys. And we're going to reconnect it. Of course, just like last time. You press that boy in. You make sure you push this red tab in. And of course, I don't expect for the light to just go off right now. I could. Just let it cycle through and go off. But because we got the tools, we just going to clear it. We're going to use our little reader. And we're going to clear it and then see if it comes back on. Yep. See that? Erase. Erase. Set engine light off. On this 2018 Malibu, we were trying to get this check engine light off without spending as least money as possible. So, like I said, I went through the uh, the mass airflow sensor. I cleaned that out. The code popped back up. Okay, fine. So now we moved over to the mass airflow sensor. In no way, shape, or form do I know that it's the mass airflow sensor. I don't know that. This is just a cheap DIY fix I'm trying to achieve to save as much money as possible. Now, if the light come back on after that, then I'm going to move into another step of what I think it could be. 
But until then, guys, I'm out. Hope it worked.